Meanwhile, tonight, a local community is mourning the loss of one of its angels. James Tarpley died at the age of 86. He was a well-loved and respected member of the Grandin Road community in Roanoke, and there's even this memorial in his honor. Grandin Village posted a picture on Facebook just hours ago saying in part, quote, we are grateful for everything you have taught us about kindness, hard work, stewardship, and how to love thy neighbor with a generous spirit. 10 News reporter Lindsay Kennett talked with those closest to him this afternoon. So, Lindsay, what kind of an impact did he have? This angel of Grandin was truly loved by everyone here. You can see that there is a memorial here for him near this mural that was painted a few weeks ago. There's, it's just been growing all day. There are some flowers, a note, and a candle in his honor. An empty chair sits inside the 7-Eleven in Grandin Village. It belonged to James Tarpley, who'd stop by the store a few times a day to visit his friend of over 30 years, Susan Lipes. I've known him for so long. Whenever I've had to work midnight, James was there. He came to and hung out with me the whole time. Susan hadn't heard from Tarpley since Friday, so this morning she and his cousin went to check on him when they found he'd passed away in his sleep. Oh, I cried. Um, it's, it's very, very, very hard. Trying to cry again. Um, it's been a very hard morning. Yeah, um, not only has James been a part of my life since I've been in the business, he's been a part of my grandchildren's lives. People tell me that Tarpley would help anyone. He'd do yard work around the neighborhood, clean out flooded basements, pay for people's rent and funerals, and he even helped stop a bank robber back in 2004. Over the years, his kindness hasn't gone unnoticed. There's a park in his honor, plaques and awards recognizing his selflessness. And last year, he was chosen as Roanoke's Citizen of the Year. He genuinely loved that community over there. Uh, and he was a special person, had a great heart, and uh, we're going to miss him. While his chair will stay empty. I'll miss him at the playground. I'll miss you know, him popping in the store. So yeah, it'll be, it'll be empty without him. His stories will fill the hearts of his community. Yep, very, very good man. He meant the world to me. A funeral for Tarpley is in the works for this Saturday, the same day as the last Chillage Fest of the season. Now, his friends tell me that it's going to be tough to have that without him, but it'll be a great chance for them to come together and celebrate his life. Live in Roanoke, I'm Lindsay Kennett, 10 News, working for you.